Hey guys, you know what? I'm quite excited about this aircraft. But before the review, let's talk about some very important information when you want to fly the Osprey. So first, you need to take a look at the manual. It's going to save you a lot of headaches and time, believe me. Then, we need to do the button mapping for the nacelle. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it for those who are not used to fly sim and for the others, I'll see you in a couple of minutes for the review. So you are going to see this message, this right message, Cabin CoFlaps 4. So you want to go to Controller Options and select your controller, default. And go to Manager and you copy, you duplicate your profile. So I'm going to put Osprey and OK. And remember to save, apply and save, right? So now we are going to look for co flaps and they said co flaps 4. So we need to put increase co flaps 4 right here. And then you press your D pad up. Alright, it said it's already put, there's already an input for the flaps, but it's okay, we'll do this after. And now we are going to choose decrease co flaps 4. And you press, you do the same, press D pad down and apply. Alright, so now we need to, alright, if you search, by bottom mapping, deep it up. You see, there was the flaps up, and I removed it. And I'm going to do the same for flaps down. Okay, decrease, increase flap. Yeah, clear the input, validate, and save. And now the deep part down is just to decrease co flaps for. And that's how you control the nacelle. Alright, see the red messages, the red message, it's gone. So you need to, if you check here on the BFD, you see, you can see the angle of the nacelles. So you need to hold press, you need to hold press and just not just one press. The more you hold, the more it moves, it increases or decreases. And here you go, you're up in the air. All right, now we can start the review. So first, let's talk about the pricing. And I think it's fair for what Miltech is offering. If you compare with DC Design products, for example, we are on the same pricing. Display. And it feels right because it's the same philosophy. And check the manual and you will see why I'm Rotor telling break. this. It's not Akadi Off. and it's not full ECL study level either, far, far from Off. it. APU. So this video is Stop. it's like for the internet Primary review, light. it's not going to be a tutorial, but if you want to perform a cold and dark, Off. it's very easy. You Emergency just have to egress. use the in-sim checklist. Off. It's fully compatible and you just follow the steps one by one, make Off. it fly. As you can Cardinal see right book. now in the video, that's exactly Off. what I am doing, and you are going Battery. to learn on your own Off. how to how to do Fuel it. So after spending some Emergency hours oxygen. with the air spray, Off. I noticed only one Battery. time I had black avionics, but unfortunately it's quite common in the sim and not Off. really related to the air spray, I think. So looks like what the aircraft are doing pretty well in the sim at the moment. And it's promising for the future. But okay, maybe I heard there's some uh, issues with the F-22 that are released this week also. But um, I don't know, I didn't uh, bought it, so can't MFD. talk that much about it. Okay, let's go back to the V-22 Osprey. And so all the animations, the graphics, the sounds, or I, I like the sound is it's amazing honestly everything is on point 
I really like the wear and tear inside the cockpit, uh, but also outside on the massive blades and on the front of the wings. It's very well done. Almost all the buttons are functional. The cabin door, the cargo door, and of course the, the nas nacelles. Even the, the whole wing can fold like its real life counterpart, and that's so cool to see. I like a lot the way it handles. It's very stable, it flies fast, and the transition between hover and full speed, that's very unique in the sim. Is there some hiccups to this ideal portrait? Well, the answer is yes. The first one is regarding the nacelles that can only be mapped to a button to increase and decrease their angle. It's a bit strange because it's not like this. It's much easier and precise with an axis. I don't know, maybe it's more simple to use that way on all different kind of devices. You tell me, I don't know. Second criticism will be about some textures on deliveries outside. It's pretty solid, but some parts are a little bit messy or blurry to my test. And last but not least, the avionics. Well, there's not much to say about it because let's say it's not it's just not a high level of functionality at the moment. So let's hope they improve that part. Also someone told me that you cannot land it on a moving carrier. So unfortunately I cannot test this because I don't have one currently. Let me know in the comments. For for an aircraft that is supposed to to perform on carriers, that's that's a bit of a shame. But I think it's more a sim problem at the moment and that's it i think we covered everything uh, mostly and it gives you and that it gives you enough information to decide if you should buy it or not and um, i definitely enjoy it for myself i hope you have a great time flying bye bye see you soon